Greensboro Park. Is out. You can catch people walking and running in Greensboro Country Park with their dogs. That's how Sharissa Rayner started her Saturday afternoon. The park was really crowded. About 10 minutes after she arrived, she walked her dog over to get some water. And that's when she heard a loud scream coming from this dog, Buddy. I looked up and I saw this probably 150 pound Akita with this beautiful white dog attacking it. But it was a very vicious attack and it probably lasted, I would guess, maybe 30 seconds. It happened in an off leash area of the park. Buddy suffered severe puncture wounds and other injuries before the owner of the bigger dog got it back on a leash. To see a little animal who was just minding its own business, enjoying a warm February day at the dog park, brutally attacked out of nowhere. I can't get that image out of my mind. It's just horrific. Sharissa Rayner helped the Bichon's owner get the dog to the emergency vet. They tried to save Buddy, but found it was best to put her down. Aaron Hetheron, who used the Bark Park at County Park nearly every day for the last six months, learned of the attack after Sharissa posted it in next door. It was very shocking. Obviously, um, I actually got a call saying to check on next door, and I saw it, and I was like, wow. Yeah, it's like they say, they're no irresponsible dogs. They're just irresponsible dog owners. Monday, Sharissa and her sister walked around the park with zip ties and these warning signs. They posted letting people know about the traumatic encounter. The signs also share advice on preventing another attack. We felt a need to take some kind of action to let the public know who used who use this park that, look, a dog was attacked and killed here. It could have happened to any of us. It could have happened to my dogs. We felt like we dodged a bullet that day. And so we just hope, this community hopes and prays that this tragedy is not in vain, that it can be used to mobilize some change.